Hello everyone. Assalamu alaikum and good morning from Lahore, Pakistan. I am Dr. Javed Iqbal Khokar, Professor of Forensic Medicine and Toxicology. As we are discussing thanatology and in this lecture, I will be discussing the changes in eye after death. And the learning objective will be that I will be discussing in this lecture about the changes which appear in the eyes after death. And they are the early changes in the eyes, then the late changes and changes in the optic disc and changes in the ocular fluid. So starting with the changes in the eye after death, and they are the early changes and the late changes. So the early changes in the eyes are that we have discussed in the previous lectures that there is bilateral fixed dilated pupils. That means when we throw light in the eye, the pupils constrict normally when the person is living. But after that, they remain dilated. They do not respond to the light which is thrown into the eyes. So that is called as fixed dilated and it appears in the both eyes. So that is why it is called as bilateral fixed dilated pupils. Then the loss of corneal reflex, that is when we touch with thread or fiber, the cornea, the eyes will blink. So it will not be seen. And this is when the picture is showing, when the light is thrown in the living person, the pupil will constrict. And this is how constricts and dilates. You can see the pupil constricting and dilating. Whereas uh, this is the picture showing also the normal and the fixed dilated position which do not respond to the light. So the cloudiness of cornea is there. That is when the eyes remain open for some time after death, there is cloudiness of the cornea. And then the eyeballs will become flaccid. That means there is fall in the intraocular pressure. Normally in livings it is 12 to 20 millimeter of mercury, but within two hours, this intraocular pressure falls to zero. Then there is segmentation of the retinal blood vessel. That means if you do the ophthalmoscopy in uh, the early stage, very near death, then the cattle tracking phenomena, which is stagnation of the blood polyp, that the blood is not flowing in the retinal blood vessels and it is segmented and is shown as, as cattle are walking in a single line. So that's why it is called as cattle tracking. So this is the uh, picture of the uh, retinal vessels. And on the right side, you can see there is segmentation of the uh, retinal vessels as the arrows are showing that is the cattle tracking phenomenon. Then the, about the late changes of the eye, in few hours, usually the three hours, the sclera on either side of the cornea becomes brown. And this brownish discoloration is because of the uh, deposition of the cellular debris and the dust. And it appears as triangular uh, in shape with the base towards the periphery of the cornea. And these are, they are called as tachysmoires. So the tachinories are brownish discoloration when the eyes remains open because of the de deposition of the cellular debris and the dust. And this condition is seen when the eyelids remain open after death. And this is the picture showing the tachysmoires. And this is a closer view. You can also see the haziness of the cornea and the dilated pupil. So this picture is showing three phenomena, the dilated, pup dilated pupil, the uh, cloudiness, and the tachysmoires. And then in about 10 to 12 hours, the cornea starts becoming milky. And then if you do the ophthalmoscopy, it will not be possible because then the uh, cornea has been clouded. Now the changes in the disc. This is the uh, picture showing the disc. 
and the disc it is a white normally it becomes yellow and 3 hours after death the pattern of choroid vessels is disturbed and they become hazy and after 5 hours they assume homogeneous pale color after 6 hours the disc outline become hazy and after 7 to 12 hours the disc outline is blurred and you cannot distinguish the disc from the rest of the uh, retina by 12 hours the disc can be traced with great difficulty and after 12 to 15 hours it is difficult to locate only the deep, deep brown color can be made out so disc will not be visible now about the ocular fluid, the vitreous humor and the aqueous fluid are free from circulation in a dead body. Now the circulation is not going on and up to 2 milliliters of fluid can easily be withdrawn from each eyeball with the help of needle and the syringes. After death, there is a steady rise in the potassium level in the vitreous humor and this is a linear relationship between potassium concentration and the post-mortem interval over 100 hours after death. So this potassium concentration keeps on rising after death and up to 100 hours it gives a very definitive time since death. In Post-mortem interval, if it is over 100 hours after death, then there is a standard error of plus minus 4.7 hours. Normal uh, potassium are 3.4 milliequivalent per liter in normal, and the rate of increase is 0.17 milliequivalent per liter per hour. So there is a steady increase in the potassium concentration. This is a very good mark. Up to 100 hours, it gives a definite time since death. So summary of this lecture is that we have discussed the changes which appear in, uh, in eye after death. And they are the early changes, they are the late changes, and the changes in the disc, and the changes in the ocular fluid. So thank you very much. Take care. Allah Hafiz. If you like my videos, please subscribe to my channel. And this is my channel name, Dr. Javed Iqbal Kokhar. Thank you very much.